Good morning, everyone. There's a car going by. Hope you can hear me. I'm not talking super loud right now because uh, we're going out for a little a local partridge hunt. Small game season is open. I got the 12 gauge, it's a little crooked up there in the, the old back scabbard. 12 gauge Mossberg 500, uh, Lakefield, just an old workhorse of a shotgun, pump action. And they were uh, actually made in Ontario, Canada, or at least assembled there or something like that. So it's an older one, but uh, I like it. Cleans house at the turkey shoots. And uh, she's put some deer on the ground and turkey in the freezer. So that is a pretty good That almost looks human. It looks like there's some berries or something in there. But I would guess it's a wolf out here. That was a pretty big pile of, pile of dump. Shenzi, come. Come. Good girl. Stay close. Come. Can you stay close? Come here. What's on your face? Yes. She picked up a slug. Show them your slug. Okay guys, I'm going to put the camera away for a little while. I don't have any of my mounts, I'm an idiot. I might uh, try and zip tie it to the shotgun here or something so I can have a, an action mount going. But I'm going to put you guys away, load the 12 gauge up and uh, see if we can... Man, there's deer out here. There's got to be some big deer. They're probably all nocturnal, but... All these cedars, this is just a beautiful spot. I'll maybe turn you guys on when we cross the creek up here again. See up there. This just appears to be another one of those situations that I should have put rain pants on. I don't know why I always do this to myself. <laughs> We're getting wet, it's okay. We're just coming up to the bridge up here. It's real thick in here. I like, oh, someone's, someone's been through clearing the trail probably to their deer stand or something. I believe this is Willow Creek. Definitely trout in here. Shanty, wait, wait. There goes a duck. Too bad I don't have my migratory. And this area up here is just thick with vines and berries and shit. So I'm gonna put the camera away and poke through here. Seen a lot of partridge flush out of it. I'm just puddle jumping ducks out of this creek like crazy. I could have had five by now. Definitely should have got a migratory. <laughs> Next time we poke through. No partridge yet. I think I'm gonna head back out into the fields there and uh, we'll cruise some of those cedar roads. They like to hang out in the tops of the cedars. All right, so we're at the, uh, we're at the next jog in the field here, the next cedar row, and we have the option of either punching through right out in the open field there, or getting soaked going through this grass that is almost four feet tall probably. I'm going to take the road less traveled here. It's going to be hard to see, but maybe we'll kick something up. Alright guys, so we are at the back of this property now. That corner there and that fence line is the neighbor's property. So probably going to jog up to there, cut in, let uh, Shenzi have a drink in the creek over there, maybe a swim. And then we'll head up the bush line on that side and come down the bush line and all the little jogs and cedar trails on the way out there. There's a, a lot of patches with raspberries and stuff where I've seen a lot of birds and thick vine over there and a lot of deer bed down over there as well so maybe maybe we'll jump some deer. So far I haven't seen a partridge, lots of ducks. But uh, I'm never disappointed when I come out and I don't, don't even see a bird or see game that's not in season or see 
does and fawns when all I have is a buck tag. It's not about flattening animals and just killing every time you come out here. I just came out to take Shenzi for a walk more than anything. Get the small game license and the firearms card and the shotgun and maybe we'll uh, get lucky and take a partridge home, but that's just a bonus. It's about being out here. It's raining. I love it. It's just a friggin' beautiful Saturday morning. A little warm is the only complaint I would have. It's supposed to be like 30 degrees today. There's a bit of a breeze back here. It's pretty stagnant up there in the other fields, but it's nice out here. Yeah, this is the last. It's a really nice spot here. It's the last strip of field. There's just all these cedar rows. It's really cool. The deer also love. It's a great deer yard here because they love the cedars in the winter time. You can see how they're all stripped up to that height in a straight line. That's about as high as they can browse in the winter time. They come and they eat all the green growth off the cedars. So that's why it looks like somebody trims these things. That is deer, winter deer feeding. And maybe they do that in the summer too, I'm not sure, but definitely in the winter. Lots of turkeys hang out on this bush line here usually. Surprised they haven't seen much turkey sign out here yet. Oh, speak of the devil. There's turkey feather. Hey, give it a good sniff, Jens. There's turkey feather. Now well, somebody has piled a whole bunch of brush here and blocked the trail that used to go into the creek there. It's unfortunate. All right, there's another one on the other side. I'll just dump her in there. And someone's been doing some work over here too. I'm not sure who owns this. Never been over there, but it's a, a large property from what I can tell, for sure. This one that we're on now, I think is uh, well over 100 acres. I'd guess at least 150, but nice little spot. Very nice. So I'm gonna shut you guys off again. I know some people don't like to listen to me talk, so I'll stop that and we'll do some more walking and hopefully some shooting. Shenzi, come on. Hey, you wait. Good girl, you wait. That's a good girl. Yeah, you're pretty wet anyways, eh, doggy? All right, I'll see you guys the next pit stop. All right, it's pouring out. I just saw a flip of white around the corner up there and a deer ass running away from me, so maybe if we're lucky, I'll catch one on camera here. See, she can smell them. Shenzi loves chasing deer. So she's disappeared for 45 minutes before. <laughs> Come back like she's run through the deepest swamps and covered in burrs. Psst, psst. Wait. There's... Chatting away to you guys probably isn't the best idea, but. And I didn't hear a splash, so either, either he skirted the bank here or that deer jumped that creek in one shot and is on the other side now. Which would be exactly why they like it here, because they can get away from predators very easily. It's really raining, but I love it. Yeah, see? That's exactly where he just took off from. He's standing right here, jumped into there, and probably right over the creek. Anytime we get a deer, Shenzi always gets the legs and other bits and pieces to chew on, so she's got a bit of a taste for them. <laughs> Alright, I think that's it for the deer. This looks promising. Very dark and scary in there. Lots of cover, so if we can see one, maybe we can shoot one. Just getting drenched. into the Blair Witch Pathway. Back here at Willow Creek. Haven't seen a damn bird yet, but still having a great morning. I'm just stop here for a little rest. Breakfast sandwich, recharge. 
and uh, we'll take the long way out back to the truck, but almost done here. Probably kind of a boring video. Well, I'll see what I can do with it. But just out for a walk. Hmm. Good girl. <laughs> Silly dog. Well, that last little push through the cedars did it. I am soaked. Truck and the road are back that way. Long way out is up this way. We're going this way. Doubt we're gonna see a partridge at this point. I've never seen any up here, but maybe it's a bad year for them. I don't know, foxes or coyotes getting to them, who knows. Shenzi, get your nose out of there. Hey, back up. That's gross. Full of maggots. Can't be that old. Shenzi, get out of there. Hey, back up. Not sure what it was. I would guess a raccoon. By the size of it, maybe a baby raccoon. I'm just trying to rub and dead shit. Bring her home stinking. Something got shredded anyways. Guess in a coon. Not much left of it. That's pretty pretty dirty. <laughs> Moving on. Get the dog away from that mess. Come on. Leave it alone. Well, at least there's something interesting for the video. A random carcass. Now besides the fact that it is small game season here. Come out to places like this, even locally. I'm not that far out in the country or anything. Shenzi! Coyotes are a problem around here. Wolves are around and uh, this winter, late last fall maybe, there's people, people out walking their dogs or a person out walking his dog surrounded by coyotes. It does happen on occasion. I'm out here just me and Shenzi. Chances are no coyote is ever going to come near us. But on the occasion that some predator does threaten my safety or my dog's safety, I will flatten it. Coyote is open 12 months a year where I live here, Coyote Wolf. All you need is a small game tag and I will put one down. And my mom lost her, her small dog coming up on a year ago now, right off the front porch to coyotes. So I do take it seriously, as should you. It doesn't mean you have to carry a shotgun with you everywhere you go, but uh, bear bangers are great. Bear spray, be aware. Just uh, more, more or less be aware that there is a risk. There always is, and be prepared to do something about it. Coyotes aren't that big. Even a 120, 130 pound woman, if you hoof one, He's gonna feel it. He'll probably leave you alone. <clears throat> you might get bit, but if you gotta protect your dog or yourself, you gotta do what you gotta do, and whatever happens, happens, but you gotta fight back. Blah, 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 there I go again, just yammering away. It is just friggin' pouring. The sky's starting to break up, but it's just dumping down right now. Alrighty, shut the camera off for a minute. I'll see you guys in a bit. I got nothing dry left to wipe the lens on. So hopefully you guys you guys can see alright. Back into some thick shit here. This is this is turkey tor territory on this property. Turkey tier tier tier. I don't know what's been going on with the trees here, but someone's come in here and just cut shit and piled it all over the place. Really weird. I don't know who did it. I haven't been back here in a while. It's 
kind of another reason I'm walking the whole property. I just like to see what's gone on when I haven't been in these places for a, a year, year and a bit, whatever it's been. See who's moved tree stands around and what trails are clear, what's overgrown. Bit of a scouting mission. And old Shenzi girl just loves it. It's a dog's life. Hey, Shenz? Shenz. Is it a dog's life? Yeah, you bet. Whoa. There's another cool spot up here, which I am not going to venture out to today because it is through some really tall grass. We are already soaked, and it'd be a great spot for ducks, but uh, probably no partridge over there. But there's a beaver dam on the other side of this hydro cut. It's pretty big. It's pretty cool. It's a very, very large beaver pond. Here's a blind right here. Probably somebody's turkey blind from the, the spring hunt. That's a... Uh, you just kind of see that, by the way, that's piled. These are all just kind of brush piles, but someone's been sitting here. I would guess, anyways. And there, way off in the distance, is the truck and the road. I don't know if you guys can hear those uh, high voltage transmission lines buzzing, but they are just singing with the rain hitting them right now. I don't know how many volts those are, but it's a lot of volts. Well, that was, a, that was a nice walk. I haven't been out here in a while. It's fun to explore these places again. I haven't been out in a few years. It's kind of like a, a new spot again. Well, maybe we'll come back here, do some coyote hunting or something, or uh, shoot some ducks over there at the beaver pond. Take you over there, show you that. Spider web sticking to my face. <clears throat> Both hands full. Alright, I'm getting pretty close to the road again here. I'm gonna unload this uh, shotgun, put her away. That's about all I got for today. Just uh, an unsuccessful partridge hunt slash dog walk. It's a good day for Shenzi. Slow day for me. Anyways, guys, thanks again for watching. Appreciate the support as always. Even the thumbs down. No news like bad news, right? Bring it on, guys. <laughs> ah, whatever. It's all good. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Take care. Boy, she's scenting something. She's got her nose up. The old hunter. She thinks she's a wolf or something. Come here, Shen. You wait for me. Hey, hey, wait for me. The old girl. Alright, guys. See you next time. Thanks again.